What's kicking chicken? It's your girl Marina back for another video and um, you see I have my laptop out. So, <laughs> so I am going to be ranking the Disney animated films right here in front of you guys. I've never actually, you know, done one of these videos or even used the website so I'm going to watch a few videos and um, see if I can find any inspiration on how to name my tier. Once I figure all of that out, I'm going to screen record my laptop and get ranking. <laughs> Welcome to Horrid Angles 101. Before I get into my tiers, I know I have uh, used some of Mike Mike's uh, previous tier names, but I am very unoriginal. So let's get started from the top. And at the top, we have Barb's, which is the Queens of the Queens. Next, we have the very much adequate tier, which should speak for itself. You know, it's right at that level, but it's not a movie that I would have watched 500 times a day, six days of the week. Not seven. That's why it's not on the barb tier. The next one is Global Top 50, and it might have been a hit for others, but it didn't hit home with me. The next one is a straight up I don't know her brand. And the final category is Electric Chair because everyone needs a little spark in their life. Like, we don't need it anymore, um, whatever. So starting out, we have one I have never heard of in my entire life. Recess School is Out, straight in the don't know her category. That was easy, we've done one. A Bug's Life, that one kind of hits close to home any day of the week, but I don't know if she's Barb's tier yet. So for now, I'm just going to put A Bug's Life in very much adequate because I did love that movie, but now that I think of it, it's kind of weird. Next is the Goofy movie, which that one's a Barb's tier. Next we have Bolt, and I used to love this movie, but we'll just stay silent about that one. We'll just stay silent. Um, the next one is DuckTales, and that's definitely a global top 50. I haven't heard of her, but it has Donald Duck in it, so I know some people have to know and vibe with that. Next is Lilo and Stitch, and I loved this movie as a kid, but I'm not sure, I don't know, very much adequate, Lilo and Stitch. Next is Pinocchio, global top 50. Tangled, Barb here. Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually have never seen this movie. Global Top 50. We have Toy Story 1. Which one's the Pizza Pizza Palace one? If the Pizza Palace one is number one, it goes in Barb's tier. Can't remember what two is, but any Toy Story movie is very much adequate, so we're gonna put them right in there. Up, that is very much adequate. Next is Cinderella, and I'm gonna throw her up in the Barb's category. Next is 101 Dalmatians. I actually like the live action more, which might be a little awful to say, because usually that's not the case, but global top 50. Oh my god, these are bad. Like, I'm not doing well. I can already tell. Great Mouse Detective is up at the very much adequate thing. If you haven't seen it, then you need to. Um, it's delicious. I will eat it up. The Little Mermaid, global top 50, she's okay. Next is Cars, I don't know why. Lion King, Barb's, obvious reasons. But the one thing that does make me angry is that live action would be an electric chair. But this is animated. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hunchback of Notre Dame, duh. I love the soundtrack, global top 50. Princess and the Frog is a Barb's category. Finding Dory, electric chair. There was no need for that. There was no need for Finding Dory. First electric chair, that's awesome. Moana is in a very much adequate tier. The Good Dinosaur, we don't know her. We know her, but we don't really know her. Pete's Dragon, sounds really familiar, but we're gonna have to put her in the don't know her. Fantasia. I never seen this movie, Global Top 50. I have never personally seen it, but I know they have Fantasia Land in Disney, or I'm pretty positive, but um, yeah, that's why it's in that category. Peter Pan, Barb's. Eh, very much adequate. Finding Nemo is an immediate Barb. Black Cauldron, Black Cauldron and the Don't Know Her. I don't remember much of Bambi, but I did like the characters. I'm gonna put her in the Global Top 50. Um, Rescuers. Don't know her. Down Under? Don't know her. So you remember Cars? They made a sequel called Planes and Electric Chair. That one's final. There is no coming from Cars to Planes. You can't do that. You just can't. So my screen recording messed up in the next few clips and I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but um... Yeah, you can pause the screen and look back at it if you really like to. 
Thanks. Hello, movie. Easy Barb. Oliver. I don't know her. Gotta go. Sorry. Wally. Very much adequate. Atlantis. Global top 50. Uh oh, my screen recording got too small. Okay, so I've made the screen recording bigger so I can have more room to put more things in global top 50. I suck. Treasure Planet. Don't know her. Piglow Big Movie. Don't know her. The Jungle Book. Barbs. Easy Barbs. Who? Uh, I can't. It's just not right for me to put her in Barbs because the Heffalump movie is in Barbs. So we're gonna have to put her in Global Top 50. Emperor's New Groove. Barbs. Jungle Book 2. Don't know her. I'm placing Chicken Little in Global Top 50. Brother Bear is Global Top 50. Three Caballeros. Don't know her. This one looks like Winnie the Pooh, like the live action one. So electric chair. We're almost done with the rankings and my camera's about to run out of battery. Monsters University is the only prequel that will ever go in very much adequate. Alice in Wonderland, Barb's Tear. The Incredibles, very much adequate. Dumbo's definitely a Global Top 50 kind of girl. She doesn't fit in. Pocahontas is in the Barb's tier because that's on the colors of the wind. Never heard of this. That's why it's in this category. Aladdin is a classic and a Barb's tier. Brave is very much adequate. Mm, Brave is Barb's. Makes sense. Strange Magic is the don't know her. Who the heck is Cars 3? Electric Chair. Cars 2? That one's where they travel the world, so that one's gonna go in global top 50. That one's pretty good. James and the Giant Peach. Electric chair. Frozen, global top 50. Tigger the movie, we don't know her. Wreck-It Ralph, global top 50. Doug's first movie, don't know her. Monsters Inc. was good, but when I watch it again now, it makes me want to throw up, so I know this is unfortunate, but we're putting in the don't know her. Big Hero 6, very much adequate. Mulan, Barbs. Sword in the Stone, don't know her. Ratatouille, Barbs. Wreck-It Ralph 1, this, I think I messed up the Wreck-It Ralph, but the original Wreck-It Ralph will still go on Global Top 50. Why are they making more Planes movies? Electric Chair. Lady and the Tramp, Global Top 50. Incredibles 2. Global Top 50. Inside Out. Inside Out is very good, so we're gonna put her in the very much adequate. I've seen that so many times. Where should I put my shoes in the barbs category? The Robinsons, very much adequate. Story 3 changed my outlook on Toy Story movies, and it was pretty high up there. We're gonna put in the very much adequate. Hercules is a barbs. I don't like Beauty of the Beast. Beauty of the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. I don't appreciate her enough, so she's gonna go on global. Sorry. Tarzan, good soundtrack, but it in very much adequate. I thoroughly enjoy Zootopia, very much adequate. Dinosaur goes in the don't know her category. Aristocats goes in the global top 50. Snow White's going in global top 50. Roger Rabbit, mm, electric chair. The final movie is Robin Hood, and we're just gonna throw her right down into Global Top 50. So here's my completed tier tower thing. Um, I think I agree with this. Some some days they might change, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>